Liverpool to Portsmouth Yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming Alright, what is going on everybody? My name is Caleb and uh, today we're going to be talking about the couple of things I've learned for having my bike for two months now. Um, and we'll get into the story of how it all happened and whatnot. Um, before we start, I just want to say that this is now the third time that I have recorded this video. The third. Um, the first time ended up being 11 minutes and that was a little too long for what I wanted. Second time, just now, about uh, two minutes ago, I was about halfway through it, through this all, and my roommate knocked and needed somebody to do something, so that's cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. Ah, I dropped my phone. So, numero uno, first thing I learned is that driving without a license sucks. Um, I don't have my license yet, and I've had it for two months. So saying something, and the biggest thing that sucks about it is I have to to focus. Um, you know, because uh, if I get a ticket, it affects my job. Um, and I have to seriously focus on my speed. I can't just worry about you know occasionally worry about. It. I have to be constantly watching. If I see a cop, I have to be like, oh shit, I don't have an inspection. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, but that's gonna all be fixed tomorrow. I'm going to get inspection. Going to get my license tomorrow. Try talking to the inspection, doing the putting the inspection sticker on, on my front fork where the fairing is, that way nobody can see it, at least until I go to Street Fighter. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but, um, I know the guy that's, well, I know the old guy that works at the inspection place told me to bring it up there because of, um, unnamed things that make it illegal. So, um, that's the first thing. It really sucks that you have to pay attention to cops. I mean, you always have to pay attention to cops, being a car geek or a motorcycle guy. Um, because of the f just purely for the fact that you know you like to go fast, so you have to pay attention for cops. But when I'm just cruising down the road, I don't have to worry about going 70 and getting pulled over where I don't have a license and it's just stacking, 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 and I'm done and I'm poor and I don't have a motorcycle anymore. So that's what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> um, all right, well, that light's necessary. So, the second thing I've learned is that no matter who you are, if you're next to anybody who doesn't ride a motorcycle, you are a douche. I was going down the road today, I was going to watch my little sister's softball game. I was going to hang out with my parents and my little sister to watch their game. My two little sisters to watch one of their games. Well, going down my, the main road, and there's a truck in front of me. I, was, I had just been cutting, kind of cutting in and out of traffic. And the traffic was going 10 miles under the speed limit, so I was going to speed limit, going around people. Um, and there's this guy in front of me with a guy or the truck. It was a truck and then a truck and a trailer next to him. Um, it was a stereotypical truck, not like a tr uh, semi or anything. Well, he, he like pointed and I pointed at the truck next to him because the truck was literally this far from his, from hitting him. And I pointed at the truck and he gets even closer to him. He flicks me off and I'm like, okay, you know what, fuck you. And I flicked him off and I just kept on riding. I don't know what happened to him. I never saw him again. So I'll put it that way. Um, and I have a monopod. I have so many toys for this shit. It's not even funny anymore. So, that's the main thing. Um, you know, motorcyclists tend to work sick together. I went into a random ATV shop, and they were all cool. They were like, look, we don't even have your parts, but if you need something, we can order it for you. I was like, dope. Um, so, there's that. Um, man, this app is glitching all over the place. Why is battery stash? I'm gonna charge it. Um, so now, when it comes back, we're gonna step back to the license for a second. Um, so I got my learner's permit two days before I got my motorcycle. Two days. No, it, might, it was probably a week. I probably had it a week. Um, the first time I ever ridden a motorcycle, I'd ridden dirt bike stuff before, so I knew the basics. Um, but the first time I ever truly rode a motorcycle on the street was on my two hour drive home that night. Um, needless to say, that was an interesting adventure. And I lived, we lived super. <laughs> um, so, it just, that's one of those things like you don't really want to. 
Especially, I didn't have a foam mount or anything. I still don't have a foam mount. That's my next on my list. I got a couple things in my list. I gotta get the GoPro stuff first. I'm not too worried about my phone. I don't fucking use it. I know where I'm going most of the time anyway. But, whew, whew. <coughs> um, I wanna get the GoPro stuff so I can motor vlog. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm up, man. Um, I gotta get one of these. Things. I'm not gonna get a removed for fly one of these. This is one of the most basic ones. I actually stole this from one of my roommates. He had it on his car keys. It doesn't belong on car keys. It belongs on my keys. So I stole this. His car doesn't run right now, so it's okay. <laughs> um. So, like I said, motorcycles seem tend to seem to stick together. I made a couple of friends. They're talking and whatnot. Oh shit, almost dropped my goddamn phone. Okay, God damn it. Um, and uh, here soon, hopefully, I'll be able to get with other people and actually ride and meet some people, meet some friends and go out to you know, meets or whatever. I don't know if there's meets like there is with a generic car, but eh, whatever. Um, the main thing I've learned is just kind of stay focused when you're riding. Because, um, you know, one second, you could be, everything could be all cool, or you could have a pothole and be dead, or you could have a car come in your lane because they didn't see you and be dead and yeah you just have to kind of pay more attention to what's going on around you and um when my parents getting on my ass kind of helped with that and i was like oh, well, i'm gonna die today <laughs> um so yeah the first month like i said i just spent learning stuff like that uh, the second month i started getting into stuff um it's never really big into a wheelie guy but then i did my first one on accident and actually it was dope so i've been practicing them i'm still so if he, you know, I've only done a couple at this point. I've only done one on purpose, like, or two on purpose. One was leaving Mitch, my roommate's work, and it was a straightaway. I was like, what would happen if I was like, oh shit! <laughs> that, was, that was the first one on purpose. I didn't think it would go up that high. And the second one was at cookout the other night, and so there was a bunch of, um, hoodlums. Um, you could call them. There's those kids in high school that think they're cool that smoke a lot of weed. Um, that were asking me about the bike, and I was telling them, you know, I was like, you know, I got it for this much. It's what I get gas mileage wise. This is, um, they're like, do you do any wheelies or burnouts? And I looked at my tires. I was like, don't want to do any burnouts. Gotta get the switch inspected. I'm like, can you do a wheelie? And I was like, no, this thing doesn't have enough power. So then on the way out, I did a wheelie. Um, I almost fucked it up actually. I, I, it was the first one I actually like stood up and bounced for, and. Needless to say, I was a little bit sketched. Um, as I'm working on those some more, we hopefully get some dope past wheelie videos because that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> I'm not trying to do go too crazy. Like I said before, I get my license. You know, if I get a ticket after I get my license, I'm fucking, it's something's gonna happen eventually. You know, and, and either the car or the bike, and if it's gonna happen. Um, but other than that, that's uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure that if you did, you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna soup up the, uh, motorcycle with the GoPro stuff, and we're gonna go, um, I'm gonna go get it inspected and get my license, and I'm gonna record the whole time, because that's gonna be cool. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed, like I said, one more time, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna be making more videos soon, so I'll see you then.